Hey guys, just talking about how to use Google Maps to track your fields and as an art consulting business we use it to help our clients share with us their property boundaries and where their fields are and buildings and water lines and that kind of thing. So just a little bit of overview, this is a farm that I farmed for a number of years and this was actually our certification map. So this was where we told our certifier, you know, the different buffers and greenhouses and um, storage and that kind of stuff. So um, you can see here we can just, you know, turn off certain layers. Um, so there, boom, all of those buffers went and we can turn off our greenhouses. And so then you can just kind of see the actual growing fields. And the cool thing about this is it also shows the size. So if you click on that, it actually shows you the size of the area and the perimeter right there you can see that so um, that's kind of you know kind of the use of it now let's uh, you know, bop over and make a new map and um, kind of show you how to create that from the ground up so usually we just start at Google Maps I'm gonna click on that you have to be logged into Google your Google account And all right, so click here in the corner and it'll say menu. And then in menu, you can click on your places and that will pop you up and show maps. And then you can hit the bottom here, create map. And then, uh, so this one, usually we ask our clients to put in their farm name or their uh, personal name. So for this, we're gonna say Kilpatrick property boundary there we go save and then we'll go ahead and type in our address there we go there we go that gives us our address now the base map here you're going to have to toggle to usually like a terrain map or you can toggle it to the actual overview there so now you can see the actual um, and most of this, um, since we've been not farming this anymore, most of all this um, infrastructure is gone. But um, so let's talk real quick about putting in a boundary here. So let's t click on this until layer here, and then we'll click bound layer. Hit save, and then you click on draw a line button, and it will allow you to add line or shape. And we're going to click on that. And we'll just go ahead and, you know, kind of trace the boundary here. It's about right there. There, right down to the road and back across. There you go. And then just hit save. And you can also, you know, change the color, style, anything like that you want. And uh, then you can also add to that boundary layer, or you can create new layers. So if you want to create an infrastructure layer, just hit add layer right there. Again, rename. Save. You can zoom in. Add a greenhouse. Um, and you can see this blue line here shows that we're on that infrastructure layer and that whatever we do is going to add that. And we'll just go ahead and add a greenhouse here. Well, there you go. The other thing I wanted to show in this video was how to share those maps. So it's actually very simple. Just click right up here where it says share. And you need to send someone that link, copy and send that link in an email or through Facebook, or just enter their email address in right here, and then just hit send. So super simple, very easy to make this work.